Good morning, Hopper class. I hope you're all well. This is your Friday math lesson and I hope you've got lots of energy. The first thing you need to do is find a space because we're going to be doing some jumping. Right. Oh, no. Right. You're going to do 20 star jumps and I want you to count with me. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20! Brilliant. Woo! Take a second to catch your breath. Right. We're going to do the same thing again, but this time we're going to count backwards. So, what number are we going to start at? That's right, the number 20. So, this time, Stand up again. We're going to start from the number 20. Are you ready? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, woo, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Goodness me. Right. You can pause the video now, and I'd like you to go and get your whiteboard and pen, please. Right, I hope you can see my screen. Right then. Now that you've got your whiteboard and pen, we're going to work together. So, the first thing that I would like you to do on your whiteboard, right in the middle, is draw a small circle, just big enough to write a number inside. Okay. Once you've done that, I'd like you to have a think and I'd like you to choose a number between one and 20. You choose a number. I've chosen a number. I'm going to do the number 14 and I've written my number 14 in the circle. Can you write your number in your circle? So whatever number you chose to do, write it in the circle for me. If I'm going too fast, you can pause the video whenever you need to. Underneath the circle, now I've done everything a bit off to the side because I've got this lovely smart notebook thing on my page that I just cannot get rid of, Hopper class. So bear with me, I'm, trying, I'm working on getting rid of it, but underneath your circle, can you draw a line please? And on that line, can you write your number in words, please? I've done mine, I've written the number 14. Oh my goodness. I've written the number 14 in words. I've completely lost where I should be now. There we go. This bottle and computers. <laughs> Once you've written your number on the line, in the top corner, can you draw two tens frames, please? You're doing that because we chose a number between one and 20, and we need two tens frames. So draw two tens frames for me. 
each little section only needs to be big enough for a little circle or a dot. It doesn't need to be really, really big. Once you've done that, now remember you can pause me. You're going to show me your number. So I've got some little blue circles. You don't need to color them in, it's fine. You can do a dot or a circle, whatever is easier for you. But can you show me your number on your tens frame, please? So I am going to fill mine with 14 circles. Yours will be different because we're not all doing the same number. And once you've done that, it will look very similar to mine. As you can see, I filled my first tens frame. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Once you've done that, underneath, I would like you to draw a number line, please. You see right at the bottom, I've drawn a number line. It starts at one and it goes all the way up to 20. You might need to pause the video for this bit. Draw a number line from one to 20. Now, some of you might struggle to fit this on one page. If you need to put this on a separate piece of paper, that's fine. Once you've finished your number line, can you put a circle around the number that you are showing me today? So I've put a circle around the number 14. Put a circle around the number that you are doing today. Once you've done that, I would like you to show me your number on a part whole model. So. I'm going to draw my part whole model up here. Okay. So I have one whole and two parts. Now the number that I am doing is number 14. So I'm going to show 14 on my part whole model. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have fourteen in my hole. Fourteen is the hole. Can you do the same thing for your number? Remember yours will not look exactly the same as mine. Once you've filled in your hole, have a think about how you can split your number into two parts. There's lots of ways that we can split our numbers. Mine, for example, I could split into 10 and four, because I know that 10 add four equals 14. So in this case, 14 is the whole, 10 and 4 are the parts. Excellent. There are lots of ways, like I said, that we can split our numbers. Another way I could split my number into two parts is, woo, it's a bit wonky, isn't it? 13 and 1, because I know that 13 and 1 equals 14. 14 is the whole. 13 and 1 are the parts. Fantastic. Can you do the same thing that I have just done with the part whole model with your number, please? Once you've done that, can you take a photograph, please, of your lovely maths work and post it on tapestry for me? If you would like to choose another number and do it again, then feel free and post that as well. I'll look forward to seeing all of your maths work. Let me just stop sharing my screen. There we go. I'll see you later, Hopper class. Bye.